Governor Gandhiji of Kano State has said the situation in the state was becoming terrible by the day as cases of COVID-19 pandemic continue to increase. This is as the state took samples of fresh 44 persons for testing, while issues of deaths among the elderly has not been settled. As the situation gets serious, Gandhiji assured his government is handling the matter calling on the federal government to put up a testing machine in Kanu. And now Aldu Mabata, a medical doctor, joins us live from Kanu. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. It seems the situation in Kanu is getting more precarious. What's actually wrong? What's going on? Good morning. Good morning again. Thank you. This situation is beyond anyone's thoughts. Kano has recorded unrealistic 77 coronavirus positive victims. This is unrealistic because we have about now 650 deaths in just three days. Prominent people from this particular historic state are lost. On Thursday, the lockdown was off. Market rush, supermarket rush, transportation rush could be a menace of transmitting this coronavirus, which actually shows that the aim and objective of the lockdown is defeated. To be frank, I don't actually know who are the advisors to the government. If you can allow this particular rush in a day, market people, industrial people, manufacturers, and everybody in town rushing hectare sketcher to get their daily bread. And it is a route that this particular virus will be transmitted among people that many of them are still not believing that this virus exists, then I think we are limited in the way we are supposed to handle this situation. All right. So the state coordinator of the COVID-19 rapid response explained that the state NCDC center at the Amino Kanu Teaching Hospital was locked down uh, because some staff got infected and the place is currently undergoing a 74 hours uh, fumigation exercise. Would you say this contributes, um, would you contribute, attribute this rather to carelessness on the part of the personnel? To be realistic, the director of the center, Professor Baba Abubakar Issa, is the best person to tell the reason why the center was locked. There has been a lot of information about formation, about lack of kids, but actually no one can see the true status if not the center. I mean, Kano Teaching Hospital has done a lot in providing PPEs as well as isolation center, converting the psychiatric male and female ward into the psych that is as, as, a, as, as an isolation center so that any victim suspected of having COVID will be isolated before confirmation and taken to the, to the main isolation center at Kwana Dawaki, as well as those with high preference uh, of, of, of showing some symptoms to Mohamed Buhari Hospital. But all I know is that the hospital has provided enough people in order to prevent the staff from getting infected and encourage as well as motivate them to make sure that they see patients promptly. But the situation of the 77 victims could actually be said to be unrealistic because of the non-continuation of the testing of these particular victims and a lot of people we are not tested even among those tracers of the index carriers we are not done now the situation has escalated as far as I'm concerned because only god knows how many people have transmitted this coronavirus during the thursday lockdown of situation 
So the reality about it is that a lot of things has to be done. Nobody is safe. The truth about it is that we are all afraid to be infected. Whether we like it or not, we either get infected with no symptom or get infected with symptom or awaiting those that have died, whether they are going, they, are, they have infected some people or they have not. So two things comes into play. Either you get infected or you die. So the best thing is government needs to do something. All right, let's, let's look at what the government is saying. Ganduja explained that they usually transport the samples of suspected cases to Abuja, which takes almost seven hours. And in most cases, the samples get wasted, forcing them to look for other samples. What's your thought about this? Please, can you comment? You want me to say it again? Yes. Okay, um, the, the state governor uh, is in the news to explaining that they usually transport samples to Abuja, and this takes about seven hours, and that within, within this time frame, the samples often get wasted, forcing them to look for other samples. What's your thought on it? My thought of this concept is the state is handicapped. The testing center has been locked down which is limited for a state that has over 15 million people and you have only one testing center. This is unrealistic. There's no how we can efficiently transport sample from Kano to Abuja without being affected by temperature or other things. So the reality about it is how many samples will be conveyed to Abuja? How many states are conveying their samples to Abuja? Other neighboring states will also bring their samples to Abuja within the, 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 the central area. Kano will now transport her own with almost 15 million people, transporting either 100 or 200 samples. I think we need to come into, we need to really be realistic in how to, in how to find the real estimate of people that are having this infection. All right, Doctor, thank you very much uh, for joining us on the news.